Hello everyone, this is Cory, and in this series, we answer the question, is it worth it? I post new videos every Tuesday and Friday, so if you like this video, make sure to subscribe to get more. Alright, let's jump right into it to find out if Space Pirate Trainer is worth it. As always, we start with the good stuff. Space Pirate Trainer is a room scale game where you fight off waves of enemy drones in an arcade style shooter. You're given a gun which has various firing modes, a baton which can charge up nearby turrets to assist you, or you can use the baton to latch onto drones and smash them against the ground, and you have a shield which you can use to defend yourself from incoming fire. You can swap between your gun and shield or baton by placing that hand over your shoulder and bringing it back down. It's very easy to swap and it feels very good because it consistently works and you don't need to press a button or anything while over your shoulder, which is very nice. You can also select which shoulder carries your shield and baton, so if you're left-handed, you can hold the shield with your right hand and shoot with your left. To swap your gun's firing modes, you just move your thumbstick on that hand carrying the gun and point it at the firing mode you want to select. I actually found out about this mechanic very late into the game because I didn't see any tutorial which demonstrates this. There are also power-ups that you can shoot to gain their benefits. Some give you an upgraded gun, and some can give you a shield which pops up around you to act as a temporary barrier from incoming fire. So, what do you do in Space Pirate Trainer? Well, you shoot drones and try to survive each wave as long as you can. It's really that simple. There are various enemies which become more difficult to deal with as each wave progresses. You can compete on leaderboards, and it's a great party game to see who can make it to the furthest wave of enemies. And that's pretty much it. It's a simple game, and there isn't much to it. What it does offer is very refined and well-crafted gameplay. And if we talk about the bad stuff, well, to be honest, there isn't anything bad about Space Pirate Trainer that I found. I guess I can say that I wish it had multiplayer support, so you can fight off enemies in a co-op setting, or even some sort of multiplayer PvP, where you are fighting waves of enemies as fast as you can to see who can finish the final wave first. This would be a great addition, but without it, the game plays fine on its own. I had zero bugs, the game ran great, and I had a lot of fun. So, is it worth it? I really enjoyed Space Pirate Trainer, and while it doesn't have any multiplayer modes, you have a leaderboard to compete on, and if you have friends over, then you can compete on a local leaderboard as well. For the price, I think it's definitely worth it if you want to enjoy an arcade shooter. It can definitely be improved upon by adding a co-op mode or a direct multiplayer versus mode, but it plays perfectly fine the way it is, and it's a very well-polished game. If anything, it is a bit repetitive, but which arcade shooter isn't? Let me know if you think Space Pirate Trainer is worth it to you in the comments down below. I post new videos every Tuesday and Friday, so if you want to see more, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to get notified when I release new videos. Liking the video helps a ton and shows your support. And if you want to know what's on my mind, then follow me on Twitter. Links are in the description down below. I'm also live streaming 24-7 right here on YouTube until I reach 100,000 subs. Sounds crazy, right? It, it is. But uh, it helps me continue making videos, and I think that's all that matters. Feel free to stop by and say hello. As always, make sure you think for yourself, which means question yourself, do what makes you happy, and I'll see you all next time.